Hello everyone, welcome back to our virtual Mishtabura Shir. We're holding Mishtabura Chalik Aleph, and I hope to learn in today's Shir the remainder of Ayin Ches Amid Beis. We have some left over from the previous Shir, as well as the majority of Ayin Tes Amid Aleph. We begin today on Ayin Ches Amid Aleph with a new simon, simon Nun Aleph. Dine Tfila Min Bar Sha'amar Ad Yishtabach, the halachas of the davening, the section of davening that we know as Psuke de Zimra, the Psukim, the verses that we read primarily from Tehillim de Zimra of song. These are Psukim that we recite of Shevach Vahida to the Rabbi Shalalam to praise the Rabbi Shalalam. So Dine Tfilam in Bar Sha'amarad Yishtabach Ubay Tes Seifim. And here we have nine Seifim. So before we even embark on discussing the halachas of Pesukah de Zimra, there's just one beautiful thought that I would like to share with you. Um, the Svar Magdashim tell us that the davening is broken up into sections, and as we move from section to section, we go up in levels of Kedusha. So first we have the section of Berchas HaShachar, followed by the section of Karbanas, followed by the section of Pesukah de Zimra, and followed by the section of Berchas Kriyashma, that culminates in the Shemayna Esrei itself. Psuke de Zimra is a very, very hush of a part of davening. Indeed, I've heard many, many times the story of how a, a, uh, a woman whose husband was learning in Kail here in, in Staten Island, by Yeshiva Staten Island, where Rav Moshe Zechitzadik Vakadosh Lavracha was still alive. This woman, Kenai Nahar, had a family. Davening was a challenge for her. She had a bunch of little kindalach. Davening was not simple, and they brought the question to Rav Moshe, what is the primary part of davening that she should concentrate on? And the expectation was that they were going to hear Shemayin Esrei, Berches Kriyashma, Kriyashma. The Rishiva Zatzal said Psuke de Zimra. Psuke de Zimra, the Rishiva Zatzal said, is a critical, critical, critical part of davening. Why is that? Well, what's Psuke de Zimra based on? Psuke de Zimra is based on a Gemara in Brachas. We have the Gemara in Brachas, Adaf Lamed Beis, Amad Aleph. The Gemara over there says, Darsh Reb Simloi. Reb Simloi darshaned, and he said, La'olam yisader adam shvachai shala kadish baruchu. A person should see to it that he should always arrange and recite the praises of the Rabbi Nishalaylam. Va'achar kach yispalil. And only then, only after, singing the praises of HaKadosh Baruch Hu, only then should he mis- be bespalil, should he daven to ask for his needs. Minolan, Rav Simlai says, where do we know this from? Mimaisha, we know it from Moshe Rabbeinu. Why? Dixiv, because it says by Moshe Rabbeinu, Vaschanan el Hashem ba'esahi lemor. Right? What did, what did Moshe Rabbeinu say? Moshe Rabbeinu said, Vaschanan el Hashem ba'esahi lemor. I davened to Hashem, but Eschanan is a lotion of asking the Rabbani Shalom for Chinun, asking the Rabbani Shalom for a matnas Chinam, for something, a gift that wasn't even earned. In other words, Moshe Rabbeinu, even the great Moshe Rabbeinu, Moshe Rabbeinu certainly lived a life where he earned, so to speak, schar from the Bari Elam. But even Moshe Rabbeinu, Ever Hashem, Moshe Rabbeinu says, V'eschanan al Hashem. The Rabbi Hashem doesn't owe me anything. The Rabbi Hashem does not owe a bus of Adam anything. Whatever you have, the Rabbi Hashem gave you. What, you did something for, for the Rabbi Hashem? Without the Rabbi Hashem, you wouldn't be breathing. Without the Rabbi Hashem, you would have never been born. Without the Rabbi Hashem, there wouldn't be a planet. So the Rabbi Hashem doesn't owe you anything. So the Moshe Rabbeinu was mispal to Hashem v'eschanan. He asked for a matnas chinam. He asked for a gift. I'm asking you for a gift. But the Pasuk says, what was his tefillah? His tefillah began, Hashem Elohim, You have begun to show your servant as Godlecha, your greatness, your powerful hand, who is almighty, either in the heavens or in the earth, who can perform the works that you perform, who can do, who could perform deeds like your deeds, and like your might. This is praise. 
So this is where Shanan El Hashem, Moshe Rabbeinu was davening to Hashem, but how did he begin? He began with praise. Godlecha, Yodacha Chazoka, Hashem Mikael Mashamayim Muvaris, Hashem Yasek Hamaseka V'chivur Eiseka. Only then did Moshe Rabbeinu say, Ebrana, let me cross over to Eretz Yisrael, the Eretz Ha'aretz HaToiva, and see the wonderful land, Hashem Be'ever HaYardin, that's on the other side of the Yardin, Ha'har HaToiv HaZeh V'halavanayin, let me see Ha'har HaToiv Yerushalayim V'halavanayin, and the precincts of the Beis HaMikdash. So you see that when Moshe Rabbeinu embarked on tefillah, what was the Seder HaDvarim? How did he organize his tefillah? First he praised the Rabbi Nishalaylam, then he asked what he wanted to be mevakesh from the Rabbi Nishalaylam. Explained to Rav Moshe why is it that way. It's very simple. Before you come to the Rabbi Nishalaylam and ask the Rabbi Nishalaylam for something, you first have to acknowledge that it is in his hands and in his hands only to give you what it is that you're asking for. First, you need to acknowledge, Rabbi Nishalaylam, you're the Bala Yechelus Kulam. You are the Rabbi Nishalaylam who controls everything. You're the Rabbi Nishalaylam who has the power to provide me with whatever it is that I need. Now that I have acknowledged that, now I can go and I can beseech and I can ask the Rabbi Nishalaylam to please give me what it is that I'm asking for. Now, there's a dual reason for this. First, you can't ask the Rabbi Nishalaylam for something before you acknowledge that it's in his control. First, you have to come to him and say, listen, I understand that I'm at your mercy. I understand that you're the only one who can help me. Now I'm asking for your help. But there's another reason as well. And that is you need to convince yourself. You need to understand the power and the might of the Rabbi Nishalaylam before you daven. Whatever tzara a person has, when a person davens, a person is supposed to go and davening and be mevakesh for Hashem, for everything that he needs. You had a tough day at work yesterday and you're afraid that you're going to have a tough day at work today. Be mispalled to the Rabbi Nishalaylam when you daven chakras that your work day should go well. If finances are a little tat, tight, be mispalled to the Rabbi Nishalaylam in the brach of Baruch Aleinu, that your parnasa should be successful, and it should be panasa berevach v'loi b'tzimtzum. You woke up in the morning with a headache, and you're struggling, how are you going to make it through the day? Be mispal to the Rabbanu Shalom, Rafeinu Hashem v'nei Rafe, take away my headache. You're having stress from a family member, be mispal to the Rabbanu Shalom, that that stress should go away. You had a hard time understanding the daf last night. Be mispal to the Rabbanu Shalom, atachaynein l'adam dasam alamid le'en Whatever it is in your life that causes you even the most minute amount of stress, be mispalled to the Rabbi Nishalaylam and ask the Rabbi Nishalaylam to help you. That's what the Rabbi Nishalaylam wants. The Rabbi Nishalaylam wants you to come be mispalled to him. But in order for a person to be used to turning to the Rabbi Nishalaylam to be mispalled, he needs to understand intuitively. He needs to understand that everything is under the control of the Rabbi Nishalaylam. And Imam in Be'abu Nishalema, Ha'bayra Yisparach Shemai Hu Bayre Yumanik. The Rabbi Nishalaylam is Bayre Yumanik. Umanik is Kalaylam Kulay. The Rabbi Nishalaylam is Manik and controls everything that happens in the world. Yedit So in order to, to inculcate yourself with that understanding before you must bow, you say Psuke de Zimra. You say Psuke de Zimra and you sing the praises of the Rabbi Nishalaylam. How the Rabbi Nishalaylam controls everything. How the Rabbi Nishalaylam gives us everything that we need. How the Rabbi Nishalaylam controls the Shabbayim Va'aretz. How the Rabbi Nishalaylam performed Kriyas Yamsuf. How the Rabbi Nishalaylam took us out of Mitzrayim and fulfilled his promises to Avram Avinu to give the B'nai Yisrael Eretz Yisrael. So we have to go through the process of tefillah by beginning our davening with Pesukah de Zimra, and only then moving on ultimately to Shemayna Esrei. So with that understanding of Pesukah de Zimra, let's embark on Simon Nun Aleph, says the Mechaber in Sif Aleph. Aymrim Baruch Sha'amar Kaidim Pesukah de Zimra, 
we recite the bracha of Bar Amar, the beautiful bracha of Bar Amar, before Psuke de Zimra, the Yishtabach Laacharein, and we recite the closing bracha of Yishtabach after Psuke de Zimra. So Bar Amar is an opening bracha on the recitation of Psuke de Zimra. Yishtabach is a closing bracha that closes off Psuke de Zimra. Says the Mishnabura Ice Cotton Aleph here on Ein Chesam and Beis. Bar Amar, Shevach Zeh, this beautiful paragraph of praise to the Rabbani Shalalam, Tiknu Anche Knesses Hagdoila, the Anche Knesses Hagdoila were Misakain, they decreed that we should say Bar Amar before Psuke de Zimra, but they did not compile Psuke de Zimra. Al Yide Piska de Nofal Min Shemaya. Baruch Sha'amar was based on a piska, a note that fell down from Shemayim. Um You hear that? They sent down from Shemayim a piska. A piska came down from Shemayim and written on it was the Nusach of Baruch Sha'amar. Ache Knesses Hagdoyle took it and they were misakin that this should be the bracha that is recited before Psuke de Zimra. How fortunate we are to be able to say such a bracha that was compiled in Shemayim, that was authored in Shemayim, and it's such a beautiful bracha. Baruch Sha'amar v'haya ha'olam. Gebench is the one who spoke, v'haya ha'olam. Ba'asara ma'amaris nivra ha'olam. The Rabbani Shalom created the world with ten ma'amaris. So the Rabbani Shalom is the one who was Amar v'haya ha'olam. Baruch Hu. Baruch Aymer v'oise. Baruch Geyser u'makayim. Such a beautiful brach, we should concentrate on every word. Continues the Mishnah V'yesh by Shmainim v'sheva tevos. Bar Sha'amar is comprised of 87 words. V'simanai, and there's a simon for this, a pasuk in Shira Shirim. The pasuk says, Roshai kesem poz, that his beginning was of fine gold. And the Mepharshim explained the pasuk in Shira Shirim is a reference to the Aseris Hadibris. The Aseris Hadibris, that's the first time that we heard the Rabbani Shalalim speak. Perhaps the only time we heard the Rabbani Shalalim speak. But Roshai Kesem Paz, it was valuable like fine gold. And we Darshan Ratza we could, we could derive from this Pasuk, Roish Hatfila, the very beginning of our davening, Bracha Shel Paz Tevos. It's a Bracha that's comprised of 87 words. al therefore, since we have this Pasuk, Roshe Kesem Paz, that tells us that Bar Amar should be 87 words specifically, al Kain Ein Ligraya, we should not take away any words, V'loy Lahaisif, nor should we add Al Shmoyne V'sheva Tevais on the 87 words. V'nachan L'amrei Mu'umid, and the Chavetz Chaim tells us it's proper to recite Bar Amar while standing, V'afilu B'yechidi, even if you're davening B'yechidus, so it's not an issue of tzibur, of kavadat tzibur, you should always stand when you say Bar Sha'amar. V'oichis shtei tzitzit shalafonov, we're supposed to hold the two front tzitzis, b'shas amiras Bar Sha'amar, while saying Bar Sha'amar, u'la'achar gemar Bar Sha'amar yinashkeim. And at the end of Bar Sha'amar, we kiss the tzitzits. Further, says the Chavetz Chaim, b'feh amoy b'segol, when we come to the near the end of Bar Amar. No, it's in the middle. Baruch Atah Hashem Elokeinu Melech HaElam HaKel Ov HaRachamon HaMuhulol Bethe Amoy who is praised in the mouths of his nation. The Chavetz Chaim says the proper Nusach is Bethe Amoy Besegol not Bethi Amoy and Batish Bachais Bechirik and the word batishbachais has a chirik under the tuff. I tried to look around a little bit. I wasn't able to spend too much time on it, but I tried to spend a little time looking into why we hold the tzitzis and kiss the tzitzis by Bar Amar. I don't have a good answer for you yet. My gears at the Yankisa, what I remember hearing years ago, was that when we say Bar Amar at the opening of Psuke de Zimra, we also, at the same time, want to show the Rabbi Nishalaylam our chavivus for mitzvahs. 
In other words, we're coming to the Rabbeinu Shalalem and we're praising him with this beautiful Baruch of Baruch Sha'amak. And we're about to recite Psuke de Zimra and sing Shirois Vesishbachis to the Rabbeinu Shalalem. At the same time, we want to show the Rabbeinu Shalalem, you know, kind of Kaviyokal, the Rabbeinu Shalalem looks and says, Wow, you think I'm so powerful? You love me so much? Do you do, do, you do my mitzvahs? You know, you come to the king, oh, king, you're so wonderful and everything else. Meantime, the king just received a report yesterday that behind closed doors, anytime you hear that the king wanted something, you go, feh, well, I don't care what he wants. Now you're coming and you're praising him. So we want to show the Rabbani Shalom at the outset of Pesukah de Zimra, look, we're holding on to the tzitzits, and we kiss the tzitzits, because we have chavivus hamitzvahs, especially for a mitzvah like tzitzits, that really shows our chavivus hamitzvahs, because technically we don't even have to be wearing it if we're not wearing a begot of Dalat Kanfais. We put on a begot of Dalat Kanfais in order to be mechai of ourselves in the mitzvahs. So look how much we love your mitzvahs, Rabbi Nishalalim. We go out of our way to be mechai of ourselves in the mitzvahs, and then we kiss them. Okay, now let's move along to Sif Beis. It says the Mechaber. Two lines off the bottom near the end of the line, Ein Chesem and Beis. Very interesting halacha. If you complete your recitation of Bar Sha'amar, before the Chazan finishes. So you finished Bar Sha'amar. What did you just do? You just finished reciting the opening bracha of Psuki de Zimra. Now we've discussed this many, 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 many times. Whenever you make a bracha on a mitzvah, you're not allowed to be mafsik between the bracha and the mitzvah. As soon as you make the bracha, right away you have to do the mitzvah. You got to take the lulav and esri. You can't make the bracha and say, oh, yeah, well, let me take a phone call. If you do that, you got to make a bracha over again. So now, you finished Bar Sha'amar. You finished Bar Sha'amar, you have to start saying Pesuk de Zimra. Right after you finished saying Bar Sha'amar, the chazan said, Melech Mlulo Batishpachis. So now you owe an Amen. Are you allowed to say Amen? Or is your Amen a hefsik between the end of your Bar Sha'amar and the beginning of your Pesukah de Zimra? So it says the Mechaber here in Sif Beis, Im siyem bar Sha'amar, kundim shesiyem ha'chazin, if you finish your recitation of Bar Sha'amar before the Chazin finishes his, Oynach Rav Amen, you're allowed to answer Amen after his Melech Mahula Batish and that does not constitute a hefsik between your Bar Sha'amar and the beginning of Suki de Zimra. Says the Mishtabura, Ois Cotton Bays, Im Siyem, Aval Im Loi Siyem, Oh, but let's say you didn't finish your Bar Sha'amar. You're in the middle of Bar Sha'amar, and now you heard the Chazin say, Bar Hashem Melech Mahula Batish Pachis. Are you allowed to answer Amen if you're in the middle of your Bar Sha'amar? Says the Chavetz Chaim, No, Lo Yana Amen. You're not allowed to be mafsik in the middle of your bracha of Bar Sha'amar to answer Amen to the Chazan's Bar Sha'amar. You're being mafsik in the middle of a bracha. Now, the Chavetz Chaim gives some, like, caveats and qualifications. So let's go through this carefully. First, says the Chavetz Chaim, when we say that you're in the middle of Bar Sha'amar, and therefore you can't be mafsik in the middle of your Bar Sha'amar, precisely where in Bar Sha'amar are you holding? Bar Shama is a very interesting bracha. It's a bracha arucha. It's a long bracha. It starts with baruch, it ends with a baruch. But the beginning of it, baruch sha'amar v'hoya ha'olam, baruch hu, baruch oimer v'oise. So far we did not say the shem Hashem. We're just saying praises of the Rabbeinu Shalom. Until we get into the middle of Bar Shamar. At the middle of Bar Shamar, that's really where we start the bracha. Now we say, Baruch atah Hashem aloykeinu melech ha'ilam, ha'keil avarachem anamu hulo b'fehamay. So where does the bracha of Baruch Sha'amar really start? It doesn't really start at the beginning. Baruch Sha'amar v'ahoyah ha'ilam, there's no shemu malchus. The shemu malchus is in the middle of Baruch atah Hashem aloykeinu melech ha'ilam. So the first halacha that the Chavetz Chaim tells us over here is, he says, wait a second. When I'm telling you that you're not allowed to be mafsik in your Baruch Sha'amar, to say Amen to the Chazan's Bar Shamar, that's only true if you're in the middle of the bracha. That's if you're after Baruch HaTah Hashem Let's see it inside. Upashut, says the Chavetz Chaim. 
This halacha that you can't be mafsik to say amen to the bar Amar of the shots is only if you're after bar Hashem in bar Amar. To betchila because the beginning before that shvachab almuhu. That's only praise of the Ryan Shalom. It's not a bracha. That's halacha number one, says the Chavetz Chaim. Number two. I'm, I'm telling you, I'm being medayik from the Mechaber, that in middle, uh, the Mechaber told us that you're allowed to answer Amen in the middle of your Bar Um I'm sorry, you're, you're not allowed, you're not allowed to answer Amen to the Bar Sha'amar of the Shliot Tzibur if you're in the middle of Bar Sha'amar. Okay. Says the Chavetz Chaim, the Cholze Dafke Le'inyan Amen Shel Bar Sha'amar Yishal Yishtabach. This halacha, that you can't be mafsik in the middle of Bar Sha'amar to say Amen, that is a halacha that specifically applies to answering Amen to the bracha of Bar Sha'amar or the bracha of Yishtabach. Aval Shar Amenim but other amens to other brachas. Let's say you're in the middle of Bar Amar, and now the chazan goes up to the amen and he starts saying Bar HaShachar. Bar HaShem Elokei Melech HaElam Pekeh Hivrim. 30 seconds ago, you would have said, oh, we have a Mishnah Baruch over here. And the Mishnah Baruch says, you're not allowed to be mafsik to answer amen to a bracha in the middle of Bar Amar. Now says the Chavetz Chaim, no, 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 no. That halacha is to be mafsik to say amen to Bar Sha'amar or Yishtabach. But to be mafsik to say Amen to a different bracha, that you're allowed to do. You're allowed to be mafsik in the middle of Bar Sha'amar, even after Bar HaTashem Elokeinu Malach HaElam, to answer Amen to a different bracha, to a bracha other than Bar Sha'amar and Yishtabach. Why? Let's get to that. Aval Shar Amenim, Masik HaMagan Avram, the Magan Avram concludes, Pesif Katan Gimel, the mutter lanois that you're allowed to answer amen. I feel the emtza brichas bar shamar yishtabach, even if you're holding in the middle of bar shamar or yishtabach. Why? Kevan shaloi husker a bracha zu begemara, because as choshev as bar shamar is, it doesn't have a mekar in shas. We don't find bar shamar or a reference to bar shamar recorded in Talmud Bavli. We don't find it in shas, and therefore. I hate to use this word even, but to teach the halacha, I'm not sure what other word to use. It's so to speak, it's like a tier two bracha. It's a notch down. So, pekech ivrim, pekech ivrim is a gemara and bracha, sabachayim and So, if you hear pekech ivrim, you're allowed to answer amen, even if you're being mafsik in the middle of bar shama, because pekech ivrim has a makar and shas. Bar shama doesn't have a makar and shas. Weiter. Ach, now there's a caveat to that. Right now, the Chavetz Chaim said, you can be mafsik even in the middle of Bar Shama to answer Amen to another bracha. But the Chavetz Chaim qualifies that. Ach, im whom im who oimid achar tevas barachata Hashem, kaidem shesiei melech muhulal batish bachas. We said that Bar Shama is comprised of different parts. The very beginning of Baruch Sha'amar until Baruch Atah Hashem Elikeinu Melech HaElam, that the Chavetz Chaim says is Shvacha Ba'alma. It's praises of Hashem, but the bracha didn't start yet. Once you say Baruch Atah Hashem Elikeinu Melech HaElam, now the bracha already started. Chavetz Chaim said at that point you could be mafsik to say Amen to a different bracha, not to the bracha of Baruch Sha'amar, not to the bracha of Yishtaba, because those don't have a makar in Shas. But to a different bracha, you could be mafsik. Now, says the Chavetz Chaim, but what if you're holding all the way at the end of Bar Shamar? You're at the end. Baruch HaTah Hashem, Melech Muhula al So you said Baruch HaTah Hashem. Over there, you're not allowed to be mafsik for any bracha. Why? Because that's already a bracha kitzara. Baruch HaTah Hashem, Melech Muhula al if you're mafsik in middle, you're makalkal the entire bracha. It doesn't make any sense. Baruch atah Hashem, amen, melech, mula, batishbachis. You can't do that. You can't be makalkal the bracha. If you're makalkal the bracha, you are maisi shem shemayim levatol. So over there, you can't be mafsik even for another bracha. So again, ach, imu oimid achar tevas, baruch atah Hashem, kaidim shesiyem, melech, mula, batishbachis, 
Kasa v'chayodam, to also loilanois, that then you're not allowed to answer Amen to any bracha. To bazem, kalkal gamri is a bracha, because by doing so you would destroy the entire bracha. So again, let's just try to, boy, I, I have a funny feeling this is going to be the one of these shiurim that I, I hope I'm going to get done even close to what I said I was going to get done. Let's try to just summarize this very complex sif over here, this ice cotton in, in the Mishnabura. The Mechaber told us that if you finish Bar Sha'amar, so now you're ready to start Pesuka de Zimra, you made the bracha, you're ready to start Pesuka de Zimra, and now the Chazin finishes, you're allowed to say Amen. And that Amen does not constitute a hefsik between Bar Sha'amar and Pesuka de Zimra, and the Mishnah is going to tell us the reason for that. We didn't see that yet. But that's the halacha that Mechaber told us. Came along the Mishnah and the Mishnah tells us halacha number one. Okay, the Mechaber said, if you finished before the Chazin, you're allowed to say Amen to the Chazin's bracha. But what if you didn't finish? What if the Chazin finished before you? So you're holding in the middle of Bar Sha'amar, and you heard the Chazin say, Melech Mavulah B'Tishpachais. Are you allowed to say Amen? Says the Mishnah no, you're not allowed to answer Amen. You can't be Mavsik in the middle of the bracha to say Amen. Explain the Chavetz Chaim, that's only true if you're in middle of Bar Sha'amar after you said Bar Hashem Elokeinu At that point, you can't be mafsik to say Amen. Before that, you could be mafsik because the bracha didn't even start yet. Before that, it's just Shvach Ba'oma. That was the 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 first halacha. The that's the second halacha. The third halacha. No, the next halacha was. That this is only true that you can't be mafsik is to say amen to the bracha of Bar Sha'amar or Yishtabach. But to be mafsik to say amen to another bracha, that you're allowed to do. Why? Because Bar Sha'amar and Yishtabach, they don't have a makar and shas. So you can't be mafsik in the middle of a bracha to say amen to Bar Sha'amar or Yishtabach. But you want to be mafsik in the middle of Bar Sha'amar to say amen to Pekech Ivrim? To Babash Arumim? To shahakal niyabidvaroi, that you could do. You could be mafsik in the middle of Bar Sha'amar to say Amen to another bracha. But not if you're all the way at the end of Bar Sha'amar. If you're by Barakata Hashem Melech Mullah over there you can't be mafsik for anything because if you're mafsik over there, you would be makalkal the bracha, and now you don't have a bracha, and it's Maisi Shem Shamayim Lavatal. Okay, moving on. Sif Gimel. Five lines off the bottom, Ein Ches on the base, and that's Sif Gimel, Mishtabura Ice Cut and Gimel. So, so far we discussed if you finished before the Chazin. If you finished before the Chazin, you can answer Amen. If the Chazin finished before you, that's the Mishtabura we just did. Now, what if you both finished at the same time? You both finished at exactly the same time. Do you say Amen? Says the Mishnah is cut and gimel. Avalim siem ima chazin babasa achas. If you finish together with the chazin at the exact same time, lo yana amen. Then you don't say amen. Why? The nirek ka'ina amen akha brechaisav because it looks like you're answering amen to your own bracha. The kaimalon the harayza maguna, and we say that that's a maguna dika practice. It's a an improper practice to say amen to your own bracha. And the Chavetz Chaim says the truth is that's the din by all brachas. If you finish a bracha together with the Shleich Tzibur, you're davening Meirev, and you say Baruch Atah Hashem Gal Yisrael together with the Shleich Tzibur, you don't say Amen, because it looks like you're answering Amen to your own bracha. Levad, with the exception of Bi Yishtabach, if you finish Yishtabach, Yochit Chayo Elamim, if you finish Yishtabach together with the Chazan, or or you finish the closing bracha of Halel together with the Chazan, or you davening Mayriv and you say Baruch Atah Hashem Shemer Amo Yisrael Lad exactly together with the Chazan. Then, if you finish together with the Chazan or together with somebody else, then you do say Amen. Why? Because 
there are sheetas of the Paiskim that hold that you're supposed to say, Baruch Atah Hashem Shemer Amo Yisrael Lad, Amen. And there are sheetas that say that when you finish Yishtabach, you're supposed to say Amen to your own bracha. And there are sheetas that say that when you finish the closing bracha of Hallel, you're supposed to end it with Amen. Why? Because those brachas are the end of an Indian. And these pais can hold that when you say a bracha at the end of an Indian, Yishtabach is the closing bracha of Pesukah de Zimra, Yahalalucha is the closing bracha of Hallel, Shemar Amal Yisrael is the closing bracha of Brichas Kriyashma of Mairiv, these pais can hold that then you're supposed to say Amen to your own bracha. So again, normally, if you finish a bracha together with the chazin, you finish Bar Amar together with the chazin, you don't say amen, because it looks like you're saying amen to your own bracha. You finish Hamariv Aravim together with the chazin, you don't say amen, because it looks like you're saying amen to your own bracha. But you finish Shemar Amal Yisrael Lord, or you finish Yishtabach, or you finish the closing bracha at the end of Hallel together with the Chazan, then you do say Amen. Why? Because anyway, there are points that hold that by those brachas, you say Amen to your own bracha. Even though we don't pass in that way, but in a case like this, how about if you finish at the same time that the Chazan finishes Bar Sha'amar, you finish Akal Nibidvara. You're not davening over there. Mutter Lanis Amen, you're allowed to say Amen to the Bracha of the Shliach Tzibra. The Chayd Mashman will be Agra, the Lai Kiat Aaron. Okay. Finally, we get on the bottom of Ayn Chesam and Bays to Mishdibura Ais Kat and Dalid, where finally, 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 we're going to see the reason for the Halacha of the Mechaber over here in Sif Bays. What was the halacha of the Mechaber? We have to now remember what the Mechaber told us after all these complicated Mishdebruis. The Mechaber told us the halacha that you said Bar Sha'amar, you finished Bar Sha'amar, now you heard the Chazan finish Bar Sha'amar, you're allowed to say Amen. Ah, why isn't it a hefsik between your Bar Sha'amar and the beginning of Sukkot de Zimra? So explains the Chavitz Chaim, is cut and dalid, Veloi heavy hefsik ben abracha lahadavar. This does not constitute being mafsik between the bracha and the accomplishment of the mitzvah. Why? The psuke de zimra shevachu. What is psuke de zimra? Psuke de zimra is saying praises of Hashem. What's amen? The amen shevachu. Amen is also praising the rabbi Shalalim. Ukein zimra. So that's weiter shirais v'sish bachais. V'lai heavy hefsik. And therefore it's not a hefsik. When you say amen to the Shliach Tzibur's Bar Sha'amar, that's the beginning of your Shevach Vahida to the Rabbi Nishalayim. Amen is Shevach Vahida. Because what, one of the things of Amen is emes. You're being ma'amis what the Chazan said. So the Chazan just said Bar Sha'amar, which is beautiful Shirai Sushish Bakhais to the Rabbi Nishalayim, and you say Amen, it's true. So then that's Shevach Vahida to the Rabbi Nishalayim. So it's not a Hesik. But says the Chavitz Chaim, the the Chavetz Chaim is going with Nusak Ashkenaz that right after Bar Amar is Haidu, Haidu is incorporated into the Psuk de Zimra between Bar Amar and Yishtabach in Nusak Ashkenaz. So says the Chavetz Chaim. Let's say you say Bar Amar and then you mafsik with Dvarim Betelim. Says the Chavetz Chaim. Efshir the Tzark Lachzer Levarak Misham Hefsik. It could be that you have to make a new Bar Amar because you are mafsik. Even if you say one word, it's a hefsik. He brings this down from the prima gadu. The near Ali, the Chavetz Chaim says it appears to him. Chavetz Chaim says we should be careful not to have a long silent pause between Bar Sha'amar and the beginning of Pesukim de Zimra. Okay. Now we go back to Ayin Chesam and Bey's bottom line in the Shechad Aruch Siv Gimel. Achar Yishtabach Yochalanis Amen Achar Berchas Atzmai says the Mechaber, and we just alluded to this halacha before. The Mechaber says that when you say Yishtabach, you're allowed to say Amen at the end of your Yishtabach. 
And this is what we just alluded to in the Mishnah before, that there are Paiskim that hold that you say Amen there. The Ramah says, Vayin lekamon simen reish tezvav sif alef, says the Mishnah is cut in hey simen reish tezvav, the sham nispar bahaga, over there the Ramah tells us, the bin hagenu, our minigish shaloy lanois Amen, that we do not say Amen at the end of Yishtabach, on our own Yishtabach. We don't say Amen on the Chazin's Yishtabach, but we don't say Amen on our own Yishtabach. Top line, I intest on an alpha the Shachan Arach moving along to Sif Dalit. Says the Mechaber. Tzarech li Zayar milahafsik. We have to be very careful not to be mafsik. Bedibur with speech. Mishiyaskil Barak Shamar. From the time that we begin Barak Shamar, at Sif Shemana Esrei until after Shemana Esrei. And the Mishnah is going to tell us that in reality it's until after Tachtum. And the Ramah says, even Lutzarch Mitzvah, you're not allowed to speak between Bar Sha'amar and Yishtabach. He brings this down for the Bes Yosef, who brings it down for the Kolboy, Vayel Kabon, Simon Nun Gimel, and Nun Dalit. Okay. Says the Mishnah we have a, quite a bit of Mishnah over here. Says the Mishnah is cut and vav. Lizaher. We have to be careful not to be mafsik from the beginning of Bar Sha'amar until after Tachdan. The Mishnah explains why. The Bar Amar have a bracha shelf named Psuki de Zimra. Because Bar Amar is the opening bracha that we recite before Psuki de Zimra. The Yishtabach have a bracha shel And Yishtabach is the closing bracha of Psuki de Zimra. So it, you can't make the bracha start Psuki de Zimra and be mafsik because you're in the middle of two brachas. And if you're mafsik, let's say you say Bar Amar. And you dive in Nusach Ashkenaz. So you say Bar Shamar, and then you say Hoidu. And now you're Mafsik. Well, in that case, how is the Brach of Yishtabach going to go back on your Hoidu and on your Bar Shamar? You are Mafsik in between. So in Psuke de Zimra, between Bar Shamar and Yishtabach, you can't be Mafsik. Ubein Yishtabach li Yoitzer, between the end of Yishtabach and the beginning of Brachas Kriyishma, you might say to yourself, why can't I be Mafsik over there? What's the big deal? What, what's the problem? I finished Psuki de Zimra, I finished Yishtabach, so I closed off Psuki de Zimra, and I did not yet start Perkis Kriyashma. So why can't I be Mafsik? Says the Mishnah, you can't. Ubein Yishtabach liyotzer, between the end of Yishtabach and the beginning of Perkis Kriyashma, haloi also lahafsik, you're not allowed to be Mafsik, kidel kamam be simen nun dalet siv gimel, like we're going to see later on in simen nun dalet siv gimel. I'll give you a heads up. One of the reasons that's brought down is divrei soid. This is based on Kabbalah. There are malachim or klipos or whatever these are beyond my pay grade that their job, they're trying to prevent our tefillahs from going up to Shemayim. When we say psuke de zimra, we obliterate those spiritual forces, whatever they are. We obliterate them with our recitation of Psuki de Zimra. But then if we're mafsik between Psuki de Zimra and Brichas Kriyishma, they come back. So we can't be mafsik between the end of Yishtabach and the beginning of Brichas Kriyishma. Umi yoitzer vahala, once we start Brichas Kriyishma, have a Brichas Kriyishma. You can't be mafsik in the middle of Brichas Kriyishma. What the Chavitz Chaim just said over here is, apparently once upon a time there was a minig. We have a minig that a chassan, by his afrif, we dance him to shul. So apparently at one point there was a minig where the shushbinin, the friends of the chassan, they went to the house of the chassan, and they recited Psuki de Zimra in the house of the Chosen until Nishmas. And then by Nishmas, they danced him to the shul. So it says the, the Mishnah that is not a good minute because you're being mafsik in the middle of Psuki de Zimra. If you're singing and dancing the Chosen to shul before Nishmas, that's a middle of Psuki de Zimra. You're being mafsik in the middle of Psuki de Zimra. Says the Chavaz Khan, we should be mavatl the minik. Ois cotton zayin mila hafsik. We have to be very careful not to be mafsik in middle of Pesuki de Zimra. Says the Chavetz Chaim, and I've seen people make this mistake, believe it or not. Bechol mokayim sha'asa lahafsik, whenever there's an iser where you're not allowed to be mafsik in davening or anything else, afilu belashan ha'kodesh asa lahafsik. 
Some people used to have this idea that if you speak Lashon HaKadosh, it's not a Hefzik. No, it doesn't matter what language you speak. French, Albanian, Flemish, or Lashon HaKadosh, or English, it's a Hefzik. You're not allowed to speak. Um, now is a very interesting halacha that most people, I believe, don't know. It's a fascinating halacha. Ucheshet tzorich lahafzik mipnei eza oinus if for some reason, something happened, and you have to make a hefzik. We're going to see that there are times that you're actually allowed to be mafzik. There are things that you could be mafzik for. Says the Mishnah over here, Uchichet tzarech lahafzik, mipnei eza oines. If there's some kind of oines that is forcing you to be mafzik in Psuki de Zimra, oibachi hagavda to sifhei, or we're going to see in sifhei, that there are re- there are things that you're allowed to be mafsik for. Tsarik Loimar Kaidim Shiyidaber before your Mafsik. In the middle of Psukid de Zimra, you should say Elu Apsukim. Barak Hashem La Ilam Amen Va Amen. Barak Hashem Mitsia in Shekin Yushalaim Alaluka. Barak Hashem Hashem al Gimala Kay Salai Sin the Flay Slavada. Uvar Shen Kfaida La Ilam Vivar those those Psukim you the Psukim Barak Hashem La Ilam until Vayavarach David. You hear this? If you have to be mafsik before, uh, in middle of Pesuket de Zimra, because of an oinus, before your mafsik, you should say, these Baruch Hashem lo'elam amen v'amen, Baruch Hashem etzi ha'shech in Yushalayim ha'leluka, Baruch Hashem ha'lekim ha'lekei yisrael ha'yisrael ha'lekei yisrael ha'yisrael 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 now, when you want to continue Psuki de Zimra after your Hefsik, you should say those Psukim again. You hear this? I'll tell you what you're trying to accomplish over here. What's the problem with being Mafsik in Psuki de Zimra? The problem is, you said Bar Sha'amar. That's the opening Brach of Psuki de Zimra. Now you said Yehichvayid, you said Mizrabal Asayda, you said Yehichvayid, you hear I'm talking like a Nusach Sfad guy, because I dive in Nusach Sfad. So you said Mizrabal Asayda, you said Yehichvayid, you said Ashrei, now something happened and you have to be Mavsik. If you're Mavsik, you're now losing the connection to the opening bracha and the closing bracha of Psukit Zimra, right? If you're going to be Mavsik now, so until the point that you got up to you had an opening bracha of Baruch Shama. Now you're Mavsik, right? Whatever you say after your Hefsik lost the connection to Baruch Shama, right? So, 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 and whatever you said until now lost the connection to Yishtabach. So says the Chavetz Chaim, you know what you do? First, before your Mavsik, you say Baruch Hashem, Lo'elam, Amin V'Amin. That will act as the closing psuke de zimra bracha for whatever you said until now, right? So now you opened psuke de zimra with bar shamar and you closed it off with bar Hashem loyalam amin vami. Now be mafsik. Now, if you're mafsik, say bar Hashem loyalam amin vami again, and that will be a new opening bracha to stand in place of Bar Amar and then go right there and close it off with Yishtabach. Now, of course, this is only B'tiyevet. This is only if you're being Mavsik for something that you're allowed to be Mavsik for. Even if you're allowed to be Mavsik, fix up your brachas, fix up your Pesukit Zimra with this Eitzah. Most people, I think, don't know the Salah. Ois Kat Leches, B'dibur. The Mechaber said you should be careful not to be Mavsik B'dibur. Okay. Says the Chavetz Chaim, when we say that you can't be mafsik bedibor, fa'afilu baruchu baruch shemoy asaloimar. You're not even allowed to answer baruchu baruch shemoy when you're in the middle of psuki de zimra. Kevin shaloi husker of a gemara because there's no source for baruchu baruch shemoy in shas, and therefore you're not mafsik in the middle of psuki de zimra for baruchu baruch shemoy. The the in Eretz Yisrael a lot the, the briskers I know for sure they don't say baruchu baruch shemoy period. Avil amen mutalanis of kabracha shemeya. But you're allowed to answer Amen to any bracha in the middle of Psuki de Zimra. I feel a bit Pasuk Shab Psuki de Zimra. Even if you're in the middle of a Pasuk of Psuki de Zimra, 
you're allowed to answer Amen to a bracha. Imu b'makayim to salik inyana. The Mishnah says, if it's like at a pause in a sentence, like there would be in a snachta, like you finished a phrase, but it's still in the middle of a pasuk. V'chein kol brechas haydam to lavarech. You're allowed to make a bracha k'mayasha yotzah like I see as tzrachav v'kiyotzah If you have to go to the base of kise, now you're allowed to say asha yotzah. You know why? Because it's shavach v'ida to the rabbanu shalom. V'chein lana yismaidim drabanan. You're allowed to recite the entire maidim drabanan in middle of psukim de zimra. These don't constitute hefsekos. You don't have to say baruch hashem loylam amen va'amen before you say asha yotzah and after you say asha yotzah because they don't constitute a hefsek. So too, if you hear the Tzibur say Kriyashma, you are supposed to say the first Pasuk of Kriyashma and Bar Shem Kvay together with them. You're allowed to do that in middle of Pesukah de Zimra. Shetzar Shikri Ibam Pasuk Rish and Kairi. Um Bikol Shkein Namut Ola Hafsik Lekadish Velekdusho Lebaruch. Eyes cut and test. The Mechaber said, you're not allowed to be mafsik until Sof Shemayin Esrei. Says the Chavetz Chaim, who kishiyesh to feel us a payim if this tachnun um, lo yedabra adakin nefil sapayim. You're not allowed to be mafsik until after tachdon. He brings this down from the El Yerava, the Chai Adam, the name of the sheet of Mikubetzes. Ois cotton yud. The Rama said even l'tzarech mitzvah. You're not allowed to be mafsik. Says the Chavetz Chaim. Let's qualify this a little bit. Says the Chavetz Chaim. Poshut. It's obvious. The misyare sheyavas man kriyshma kaidim sheagiel a kreis of a seder at tefila. Let's say you're a middle psuki de zimra. And suddenly you realize it's a minute to Berchus Kriyashma. And, and you're holding a middle of de Zimra. Says the Chavetz Chaim. V'shachach l'amra k'aynu bar sh'amar. You didn't say, you forgot or you neglected to say Kriyashma before bar sh'amar. So now you're holding a middle of the Halalukas. You realize it's a minute to, to Zman Kriyashma. If you don't say Kriyashma now, you're going to lose Kriyashma. It's not say Daraisa. Mutaloy l'hafsik v'lekraisa. You're allowed to be mafsik and say Kriyashma. V'chein similarly. Let's say smack in middle of psuka de zimra. You realize, hey, wait a second, I didn't say brachas hashachar. I didn't say brachas hatayra. Mutaloy levarich em sub psuka de zimra. Veloy marachak psuka manayhagen. You're allowed to recite brachas hatayra together with the brachas of brachas kayanim. And he explains to Yesh Omer because there are those that say dasa loy mar filu psuka de zimra kaidem brachas hatayra. If you remember, we had a machlekes hapaiskim. Are you allowed to say Psukah de Zimra before you say Berchus HaTayra? Some points can hold yes, because it's not Derech Limud. It's Shevach Vahidah, it's Derech Zimra. Others say it doesn't matter. You're not allowed to say it before Berchus HaTayra. Continues the Chavetz Chaim. Ein Likrois L'Sev HaTayra L'Chatchil L'Misha Oymid Be'emsa Psukah de Zimra. If you're the Gabai and you want to give somebody an Aliyah, and you see he's holding a middle of Psukah de Zimra, L'Chatchil you should not call him up for an Aliyah. Rak L'Koyin Im Ein Shem Koyin Acher. If there's only one kain, you could call him up for a kain. The chain lelevi im ain't shem elohu. For ashoy likrais balach hashem akire, and in such a situation, if you did call him up, he's allowed to say the pesukim with the malkire. Ach lo yasik loy melachaz alas is mishaberech, but he should not turn to the gavi and say yeah 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 make a mishaberech. Vimachaz in his kol may atzmai. Now if the if the gavi started making a mishaberech, v'shachach shmai. So this guy the oile is holding a middle of psukim de zimra. You called him up for an aliyah. So he's allowed to have the aliyah. And he's allowed to read the psukim together with the Balkari. But he shouldn't make a mishabarech. Now the chazin goes, no, mishabarech, mishabarech, have said, Rabbi Yisrael Yaakov, yuvarech es. And he forgot the name. You're allowed to tell him your name. Mutal ha-shivay. Mepnei The Rosh worries about the covet of a person. He shouldn't have to stand there and go, hmm. V'emu oymid samach la-perek, sh'yach ha-ligmar ha-perek, b'lishaz, k'aydim sh'yale. If he could finish the perek, let's say he's in the middle of the halalukas, if he could finish that halaluka before he has the aliyah, yasikein, he certainly should do that. Avalim tzarek lazeh shoz, but if it's going to take time, lo yisheh. He shouldn't take time, ne tarek hatzibur, because we're worried about tirchad hatzibur. Also, loyma pasuk miyamal gura sashem akabar sh'amar kaidim hoidu. Some people had a wrong minig to say the pasuk of miyamal el gura sashem after Bar Sha'amar, before they stop Sukkot de Zimra, he says you should not do that. Some people said it before Yishtabach. There are some Nuschais that say a Kaddish before Bar Sha'amar. 
Ice cotton yud aleph. You're not allowed to, even with Tzarek Mitzvah, you can't be mafsik between Barsha Amar and Yishtabach. Ice cotton yud aleph. Ava ben Yishtabach liyotzer. But between the end of Yishtabach and the beginning of Berichus Kriyashma, Ledvar Mitzvah, to be mafsik then for a Dvar Mitzvah, Yavor Asav Simen Nundalad, the Yesh Matirin. We'll see at the end of Simen Nundalad, the Mirz Hashem, that there are those that are Matir, a Hefsik over there, Litzarech Mitzvah. Okay, thank you so much for joining me for Liman Atara. Slos of Liman Atara should be Megan against Kla Yisrael. The Rosh of Shusen, Yeshua's the first Parnas, and Shadukhim told all the need. And we should be Zaychet together to see the BS girl Tzedek Bimherev Yamenu Amen. Be well.